Rip, come on, man. Not another sub ohm tank. Giggity, giggity, giggity. <laughs> yes, 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 boys and girls. Today we're going to be taking a look at another sub ohm tank, and this one's called the Playboy Vixen Mini. So the coil head I have currently in this tank is the 0.14 ohm nickel coil head. Reading at rest, okay, I'm vaporing at 350 degrees, and I got the airflow about a quarter of a way open all across the board. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the pros and the cons. We don't even need, you guys don't even need to see the up closest, do you? Nah. It's just a sub ohm tank, right? I'm kidding. We're gonna go ahead and do it right now. We're gonna just go ahead and dive down up close. We'll come back, talk about those pros and the cons, and I'll let you know if I lost this thing today. We'll go out tomorrow and buy one. Okay? So here's the packaging for this Playboy Vixen mini tank. Pop the lid, and then inside, as you guys saw through that clear plastic, we got our Playboy Vixen Mini. We got an extra coil head. We got an extra glass tip. And we got the Playboy symbol. Alrighty, so here's the Playboy Vixen Mini tank. Now, a few specs for you. She's primarily made of stainless steel, food grade stainless steel, which means there's a plating on here because this is the gold version. Now, I don't know if it's gold plating or not, but they market it as being the gold version. Just want to say that. Okay, she's 22 millimeters in width. She's about 59 millimeters in height. She has a Pyrex tank in the middle, and this thing holds 2.5 mils of juice. Up top, you got a glass tip. It's held on by two O-rings. Down here, you got your adjustable airflow. You got three slots. They call this thing the triangle theory airflow because you got one slot that's perpendicular with the two that are parallel. So a total of three slots. Here's the adjustable airflow ring. You get in here and you turn it. And whatever you adjust on this side is going to be the same all across the board. But this adjustable airflow ring has got one, two, three, four bars that go all the way across. And I think it just makes the airflow that much better. It really does. The airflow on this is fantastic. You get tons of it. And it's a nice airy draw. And I love it. I mean, it's a smooth airy draw. But yeah, the ring is just smooth, smooth, smooth sailing, baby. At the base, you get your 510 threads, which are smooth, smooth, smooth. I mean, it's super clean. You got your non-adjustable 510 pin. And it protrudes just a little bit, barely. I still wouldn't use it on your hybrid top cap mechanical mods. Don't do it. As you guys can see up top, you got Playboy engraved in there. Nice lines, by the way. I mean, this is it's a beautiful tank. And you notice how the tank section is tinted. That's how most of them are. I mean, I've got this black one over here. Here's the black version. Same thing. Tinted tank, tinted glass tip. And I've been using this thing for three weeks. And I mean, look how beautiful it is. So they market this tank system to where you could fill it from the top or the bottom. And let me show you how that works. You unscrew it. Unscrew the tank. We'll get to this in a minute. So if you turn her upside down, you just pop your dropper in between the shaft and the inside of the tank and you just fill her up. And like I said, she holds 2.5 mils of juice. Or you don't fill her up from the bottom. You screw everything together beforehand. Nice and tight. And you got this top cap up top. You unscrew that. And you fill her up from the top. Pop your dropper into either one of them and just squeeze. But before you do that, make sure you close your airflow off. Once you're done filling her up, Open the airflow up and you're rocking and rolling. Here's the glass tip. 10 millimeter bore all the way through. Nice smooth rounded edges. And this glass tip is held on by these double O-rings at the top of the tank. Great fit. Okay, tank is held in by this O-ring. And that fits down in here. You can push it back down with your tank, just like that. Boom. Shaft section. Nice clean threads. They're not the smoothest in the world, but they're clean. And I'll tell you what, there is no machine oil or grease on this device. None. One rinse, one wash, and I was good to go. Again, here's the top. Underneath this top cap, you got this single O-ring right here to seal everything in. Here's the base of the top, top cap. <laughs> you got your threads in here. See that? Threads, which screw into the threads on here. Here's the inside of the base section. Nice clean threads. You got this other seal or O-ring. Comes out like so. Everything is nice and clean. So you screw your coil head in here, just like any other sub-ohm tank. 
The one thing I do not like about these coil heads is you cannot tell one from the other besides what they say on each coil head. They should have like a color ring for each one. A blue ring for the nickel, a black ring for the canthal. But both of them have these giant wick holes. And when I mean by giant, each wick hole is five millimeters in diameter. Look at that. Crazy. So here's the canthal coil head, the 0.5 ohm. 30 watts to 70 watts. That's what's recommended. I mean, look at those giant wick holes. Jeez. On the other side, it says Playboy, by the way. This thing uses organic Japanese cotton. And they market it as having a spiral coil. It's just a vertical coil. Here's the nickel coil head, the 0.1 ohm NI200 coil head, massive wick holes. Also uses organic Japanese cotton. So there's the coil in there. They call it the spiral coil. I call it the vertical coil. So yeah, the one that I received, the way it came is the NI200 coil was already pre-installed into the tank, and then the Canthal coil, the 0.5 ohm Canthal coil, was just, you know, laying in the package. So here's the tank that I've been using for going on three, three and a half weeks, and I've got the NI200 coil head in here. I've been using this sucker for two weeks, and look at her. She's gunking up a little bit in the middle, but she's still going strong. Remember guys, when you first install these suckers, that organic Japanese cotton is gonna be dry and you gotta prime it up, you gotta juice it up. I'm gonna go ahead and prime it up a little bit with some of this rainbow nuggets. Oh yeah! And show you how to do it. Now even though it's already primed up, let her go all the way down, soak it up. And like I mentioned, you can either fill her up from the bottom or the top. I'm gonna go ahead and do it from the top just to show you. Make sure the airflow is completely closed. Unscrew the top cap and all you gotta do is just fill her. And she's good right about there. Little air pockets, what you need. Booyah. You know what? I almost forgot to mention this, but the coil heads that come with this device, whether you're using the NI200 coil heads or the Canthal coil heads, doesn't matter. They're compatible with the Atlantis, the Atlantis 2, the Triton, and the Heracles tank. That's a big plus. So that right there is an up-close look at this Playboy Vixen Mini. Let's go ahead and take her back to FaceTime. Pro number one, price point. Now, I've seen this thing sell between $25 and $30 bucks online, and for what you get, I think it's super competitive. Two, the packaging for this product is great, man. It all starts with the packaging. That's where it all starts, and if the packaging is great, I would say 98% of the time, if they cover the details of the packaging, it leads to better, better, and better, and better. You see what I'm saying? I mean, when I first saw this, it rubbed me the right way. That's what she said, right? But it did. It rubbed me the right way. It was like the Kanger Tech products, the new Kanger Tech products. The packaging for those products is fantastic, just like this. And then when I opened up the box, I didn't smell acetone or it was some of these other products. You just, you just never know what you're going to get. And I see it all. And I tell you, with this, it would just... Mm. It smells great. You don't smell anything. It just smells clean. You take out the tank. There's no burrs, no scratches on there. It's just a great quality product. And like I said, 98% of the time, those details, those small details, they make the big things bigger, okay? They, it carries over to a great vape experience. Three, the airflow for this, man. You get tons of it. I mean, for days. You guys saw in the close-ups. I got her wide open right now. Wow! open. But you can also close her off. I mean, this is pretty much closed off all across the board. Nice restrictive lung hit. Oh yeah. Being able to fill the sucker from the top or the bottom is a big plus. I mean, it's good to have options. The fact that they included an extra glass tip is nice of them. I mean, you could easily drop this thing, step on it, break it, and it's a good thing to have extras. Yes, sir. Oh, and she comes in different color options. Here, check this out. This tank right here has been compatible with all my devices, all my unregulated, regulated mods, but here's the thing, I do not recommend using this for your hybrid top cap mechanical mods. Don't do it, you're going to be risking shorting out and it's not good. You could potentially get hurt by doing that. The two coil heads that came with this tank have been performing fantastic, man. The nickel coil head I have in here right now, I'm going on two weeks. Two freaking weeks now. I know what you're thinking, how the hell are you getting two weeks out of it? It's really not two weeks, I just say that because I've been using this for two weeks with this nickel coil head in here, vaping it every day for the past two weeks for four to five hours. So four to five hours a day, that comes to about what, 56 hours? About 56, 60 hours that I've gotten out of this, this nickel coal head. And to me, that's good. But with the Canthal coal head, the 0.5 ohm coal head you guys saw in the close-ups, I've gotten about a week out of it. And that's the same thing, vaping it every day for four to five hours. Still good, my book. Nickel's definitely better as far as longevity. Come <laughs> on, now the cons. One, she only holds 2.5 mils of juice, and for some of you chain vapors, you're gonna want double the capacity. For me, it's not really a big deal. I'm not a chain vapor. You know, I vape every 10, 15, 30 minutes, but it's definitely going to be a con for some of you guys. Two, 
Two, she does not come with an extra Pyrex tank. If you lose this or break this, you're SOL. Three, this tank does not include a titanium or stainless steel coil head for temperature mode. Some of you vapors that prefer temperature mode, you don't want to use nickel, and that's what this comes with. And then lastly, and this is going to be a subjective con, this is going to be really a nitpicky one for me, but this does not come with a rebuildable section. Got to have my rebuildable section. I don't want to rely on just coil heads. You know what? Another con I did not mention, okay, even though this thing comes with two glass tips, it's not compatible with your 510 drip tips. So if you want to use your standard 510 drip tips, you're not going to be able to do so with this. So here's the deal. I do not know of any site right now that I could vouch for that's selling this, but as soon as I do, I'll post a link down in the description. Now on to the big question, the big answer of the day. If I lost this sucker today, would I go out tomorrow and buy one? The answer is I would not. And I know that's probably going to surprise some of you guys. I haven't even seen any rebuildable section for this. I don't even know if they make them. Maybe they do. I haven't seen it. It doesn't come with one. The fact that it does not have an extra Pyrex tank that comes with it is a biggie. Not just for me, but I'm thinking if I were in your shoes and the fact that you can't use your standard 510 drip tips, that's not a biggie for me. And you know, I love this drip tip and they include an extra one. You know what? How about this? If they included an extra Pyrex tank for the same price, 25 to 30 bucks, but they did not include a rebuildable section, I'd buy it. I would just go out and wait for them to come out with their own and not buy it separate. That would be a done deal for me. But the way it is now, mm -mm. nope. This is Rip Trippers, and remember, smoking is dead, vaping is the future, and the future is now.